The fifth step is to add foreign keys. Now there are several different relationship types and how we add foreign keys is different for each one. So there are descriptions of how to handle each one of these and we'll go through and use the ones that we have to that we have on the diagram. So we have one to many and if we look at our diagram we have oh one to one, one there's a one to many and there's a one to many and there's a one to many. Now this the last one was a multi-valued attribute. This one is one to many multi-valued attribute. We're going to handle that one a little bit different, so we'll save that for last. But the other two, we'll go ahead and do this one to many. So one to many, you copy the primary key of the one side, add it as a foreign key on the many side. So we have a one side on the branch. So we copy primary key of the branch and we put it in the many side. And here if we look we already have a uh, main branch and that can be the branch number because that will uniquely identify which branch is the main branch. So all we have to do is put the foreign key designation to the left of it. And that one's done. The, we have between account and transaction. So we want to put the account number, the primary key of the one side, in the many side, which is transaction. And if we look here, we do have account already in here, and we'll use that account I number for that value to uniquely identify which account the traction, uh, transaction is associated with. And we just need to simply designate that as a foreign key. And then we're done with that one-to-many relationship.